Good, everyone, Khan here with Tech Out, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Poetic Spartan for the Z Fold 5. And I really like this case. There's a couple things that I don't like, but for the most part, it's a really good case. Um, it does have your S Pen holder right here, um, and the hinge. This is the part I really like. I hate cases where the hinge does not close on its own, where when you close your phone, you have to you know come over here and it's another step to push the hinge closed. This one is spring loaded, so it does close on its own. I also like the fact that they chose to put the S Pen on the outside because um, when they put it on the inner side, you have to open it up, fold it open, and then get the pin out. Um, and you can't do that when the case is opened, um, obviously, because you know the case right here, the hinge doesn't open anymore than that. So if the, the pin was on the inside, you wouldn't be able to get it open. So very nice that it's on the outside. Now this case does hold both styles of S Pen, so it will hold the Fold 4 S Pen, and it will hold the new Slim S Pen um, that comes with the Fold 5 case, or the one you can buy separately specifically for the Fold 5. Um, only part I don't like about this is there's no easy way to get it out. I wish maybe they would have put like a release button over here or something. I understand kind of why they didn't, because, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, so you kind of just have to, have, to, have to grab the middle here, kind of like, with both fingers like that and, and yank it out. Um, it is a little bit easier now that I've done it a few times, um, but when the phone's open, kind of is a little bit difficult. Um, but this part right here comes out um, and they have little arrows showing you just you know where to squeeze and it just comes out like that. So that's the little adapter that it comes with for the Slim S Pen. And then if you have the regular S Pen, you can put it you know in the slot normally. But other than that, it's a really good case. Um, the only other gripe I have with it is the um, hinge makes a loud popping noise when you open it and it's kind of just, you know, you have an $1,800 phone, it's a nice fancy phone, really sleek, and when you open it, it sounds like this. Okay, it didn't really do it that time, of course, now, but it seems to have fixed itself a little bit in the video, but it, it, there's just the plastic rubbing and cracking and not cracking but popping and stuff like that it was a lot louder before but it hits right here I guess and it just kind of you know whether I have my hand or you kind of have to have your hand on the hinge to open it but whether you like squeeze it too much or not just kind of this noise that is a little bit annoying on a on such an expensive case and such an expensive phone um, you know like this you're out there and you open your fold up and it's like pop and all that kind of stuff but other than that, it's, you know, it is what it is. I understand it's going to make some noises and stuff like that. A lot of moving parts. Right here we have your kickstand. Um, so you can sit your phone up like this. Works just like that in uh, the on the outer screen. Kind of pop in there. Um, when you open it up, though, of course, you can't put it like that, but you can prop it up like this. And you just have to put your phone in landscape mode. Pops right back down. Nice um, coloring. This is the gunmetal with the black. I believe they are coming out with the black one. I think when they sent this to me, they said they did not have any of the black ones um, in stock to send out yet. They were still manufacturing those. Um, so this is fresh off the press, which um, that noise can also be attributed to that. It's the first run, so um, that may improve over time. But I love Poetic cases. I've been using them for a while. Um, by the way, this does have a plastic screen protector on it. I am using it with my glass white stone dome screen protector so it's actually got this with the glass screen protector and then the plastic from the front on it I'm not having any issues with that I'm not having any distortion on the screen I'm not having any touch issues it, it's perfectly fine so if you have a glass screen protector you should be just fine uh, to keep that on if you don't want to take that off if you switch cases and you always want there to be a screen protector there stuff like that you don't have to take your screen protector off and buy another one um, if you want to switch this case in and out which I do frequently because um, you know, I review them and I have a bunch of other cases that I like. Sometimes I want to use the S Pen case when I don't carry it here. I've got my later case. I've got my gadget case. Um, so a few different cases that I like to use. So good to switch out. They also do include two extra adhesive strips. Um, if you do want to change those out, if this gets um, weak, starts coming off, or if you change your uh, case out, like I said, which I never really have to do that on any of my cases, even if the adhesive strip is worn out. Um, they always tend to stay on pretty good. And if the tabs not over on the screen I don't even put it on but that is the poetic case right there there's your fingerprint sensor cutout very easy to get your thumb in there I like how right here it's kind of sloped in so you can feel where it is and just slide your finger right down in there 
But Poetic Spartan right there, I will have a review on the Poetic Guardian as well coming up. Um, but that one doesn't have the S Pen holder, and I am a big, big S Pen user. I love having the S Pen with me. Um, so the S Pen case, and then this case with the S Pen holder are my two most used cases. But like I said, Poetic Spartan, I'll have a link down below to Amazon where you can pick one up. And I am Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day.